Hi everyone. So now we learned that how we can apply simple form validations in React Native. And guys, in last video we created a form. After that, we collect the data from that form and uh, send to the Post API. So we will use that same form in this video also because if I am going to create the form again, then it will take lots of time, lots of effort, and video be uh, gonna lengthy unnecessarily. So better to be you can watch our previous video if you don't have any idea about creating simple form and all. All right. So these are the three fields that we created in the last video and uh, a save data button also. So once we will click there, if uh, any one of these fields is not valid, that time a uh, error message of uh, just below to that uh, input field will be displayed there, right? Like uh, uh, enter name is not valid, age is not valid, email ID is, is not valid and all with the proper uh, style and all, all right? So firstly, we will create some states so that uh, we can uh, just get the error message and uh, we can apply the validations. After that, uh, we will show the error message just below to the each and every field. And uh, at last, we will add some style to this error message so that like they will just uh, look a bit decent. All right. So now we can start with the code. So this is the code which we just uh, write in the last part. So what I'm going to do first of all, I just need to create a uh, error field for name like so I'm just putting the uh, error state of that name is name error and set name error and that will be a state so the by default of this state value is false perfect and there after once we will just click on the save data we will check there if name is not valid right how we can check that if name is empty undefined or null that time we will just set this state true that means there is a error inside the name field uh, we will make it true not false perfect after that we will also also check there if dollar uh, not dollar uh, if name is not valid which is we can say that uh, negation uh, is not valid or uh, age is not valid or uh, lastly email is not valid you have to just use their double pipes right so what we can do there we can simply return false so we don't need to process uh, this function anymore so we will stop our execution there only all right so that uh, the api will be not called unnecessarily or the some junk data is not saved to the database perfect so here you can see that i am just uh, consoling one thing there console dot one i'm putting there step one right and you will find that still name uh, name is not valid because this is the empty but you will find that step one uh, this is covering but if i will just put this step one after that false return because just after writing the returns now return false or return true the execution will be stopped off that function so if now i will try to just check this with a step two you will find that uh, there is a no console at all so let me just click over there and here you can see that there is a no console so stop uh, execution is actually stopped there perfect so now we get that uh, value like name is not valid so how we can show a message just below to that field for that just get get back to the uh, html part or you can see that uh, written part right so i will check there if name error is there then we can show a text message there let's say name is not valid and if this is valid then we don't need to show anything there right so that will be null so now you can see that as name is not valid and we already entered there right let me just refresh it once it will just give you the better view right so there is a no error field if i'm trying to save the data without without entering the name it will show a error there name is not valid but this is not actually look like a, a error message so we have to just uh, adjust its uh, left and right position and uh, just have to just put some red color for that right so now what i'm going to do i'm just 
trying to add some style so i'm putting there uh, comma error input and uh, let's put there color could be let's say red after that uh, margin left we can also add let's say 20 and now you will find that okay this is not applied this style is not applied yet let me apply this to the text also style style dot input error right and now you can see that name is there but again this is actually in the middle it it's look like actually it could be for the age or it could be for the name field so it should be a bit up it should be a little bit above and close to the name field so what we can do there just put their margin bottom zero so you can see that margin bottom five right to the input field and here we go now it look like a bit better perfect so after just doing the, this with the name we can do the same thing for the age and for the email also so if age is not valid then we can set the set age error set age error is not there okay so we have to define two more states actually they are not present so let me add there age error and uh, you can see that set age error last one is email error and set email error right so uh, let's set the set age error now this is true if age is not perfect uh, age is empty right and the same thing we can do with the email also email and we can set email error right and on the behalf of these field i am putting the validation message also with the each and every field so if age error is there then we can say that age is not valid or you can say that please enter the valid age whatever you want to show the message right uh, email error then we can say that email is not valid perfect so now let's try to just click over there and you will find that we got the message for all of the fields right perfect but now the next thing is let's say i'm just putting their name anil but if i'm trying to save the data error is still there then how we can fix it for that what you can do what you can do simply just put their else condition if name is valid then set name error should be false right and you can do the same thing with the other two states also set age error and set uh, email error right so after that if i'm let's say i'm just putting their name and listen to and uh, just trying to enter their data now you will find that the, if we will put the valid value then the error message will be removed from there right and same with the age so let's say i just put their age 20 trying to enter it still there is a no issue in age let's say again i just remove the name from there trying to enter the data again there is a validation message right so this is the way that how we can just put the uh, validation with the old fields i know that this is just for empty or uh, invalid state uh, but with the same way you can check that uh, state length state minimum maximum length everything whatever you want to check right so this is the actual way that how we can apply the validation in react native and if uh, once all fields are valid the data is added this is just coming from the uh, this condition once our data is properly added to the api 
so that's all for this part guys if you still have any question any query you can ask me in the comment box there is a one small task for you that you can do i just write their basic very basic code for if and else right so can you just change this if and else with the ternary operator right uh, i can also use a ternary operator there but i just want to uh, keep it really simple so that everyone even beginner can also understand this right so thank you guys thank you so much for watching this video